Well, we never got that Habib Ferguson fight, and after the fifth cancellation, we aren't sure we'll ever get to see that matchup. But maybe that's for the best, because UFC 249 was one of the most entertaining events yet. It was the first of many UFC events to take place during the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite virtually every other sport being shut down, Dana White wasn't about to let a global pandemic stop him. Both Ferguson and Gagey were both huge names with impressive records. But how would it end? Today we're recapping some of the biggest and best moments from UFC 249. If you like this video, hit that bell icon and subscribe for more Ultimate MMA. Jeremy Stevens and Calvin Cater were both huge standout fighters, but only one would leave the octagon a winner. Early on, it looked like Stevens had the advantage, landing heavy and accurate strikes early in the first round. Those low kicks in particular were looking like a huge threat to Cater. Cater was able to land a huge right hand that staggered his opponent, but overall, round one was dominated by Stevens. In round two, things flipped around. Cater utilized some heavy boxing combos and a huge elbow to get Stevens to the ground and win the match by technical knockout. When Jeremy steps southpaw, that's when that big left kick. Oh! Stevens nearly oh! 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 Cater trying to finish the fight. Oh! Oh! Cater landed a Boston bomb. Oh my tonight. goodness, wow. and he split him open. Look at that. Look. Wow. Hey, hey. They got to get his hands up. Right Stevens' face made the winner clear. Next up was a battle between Francis Ngannou and Yarzinho Rosenstrike, two men with a history of huge knockouts and entertaining fights. This bout was no exception, though some may be disappointed that they didn't get more bang for their buck. The kick is there for Biggie Boy. Oh! Oh! It's all Rosenstrike is out! Whoa. And Ngannou! Out bad! Out cold. Holy smokes! A little more than 20 seconds into the first round, Ngannou threw huge hooks that knocked Rosenstrike out cold. This sent a clear message to every heavyweight. Do not underestimate Ngannou's power. Next was a battle of two fan-favorite fighters, Henry Cejudo and Dominic Cruz. Cejudo was a former Olympic wrestling gold medal winner, and Cruz was a former bantamweight champion eager to win back his title. In the first round, Cejudo got a couple takedowns, but Cruz was able to get back up quickly. After a few exchanges, things were looking good for the current champion. In the second round, Cejudo kept chopping at Cruz's legs and it was definitely slowing him down. At one point, both fighters collided heads and opened a wound on Cejudo's head. They each exchanged huge combos, but Cejudo would have the final say. Before the end of the round, Cejudo landed a huge knee and scored a victory by technical knockout. Yeah! Oh, yeah! From Cejudo! Oh, oh, he hurt Dom. He's 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 Finally, we had our interim lightweight title fight, Justin Gagey versus Tony Ferguson. These two were known for huge finishes and winning records. Gagey in particular is often considered one of the most entertaining fighters in the division. These two fighters were able to fight in every round. Gagey stayed dominant with some huge right hands that Ferguson simply had no answer for. Despite Gagey's intense power and pressure, Ferguson was able to take the heat and came back every round. By round five, Ferguson's face was already looking bloody and beaten, but Gagey wasn't going to leave his victory up to the judges. Before the end of round five, the ref stopped the fight to prevent further damage to Ferguson. Check. Come on, Tony. Yeah. Oh, 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 Tony's hurt. He's hurt he's real, real bad. Hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. They're going to stop the fight. That's it. Oh, Justin Gagey wow. stopped Tony broke. Ferguson in wow. round five. He's the that UFC zero lightweight uh, champion. Uh, Never wow. I mean, that is the most amazing performance of Justin Gaethje's career. While there were clearly some bitter feelings in the end, this was one of the greatest performances by Justin Gaethje we've seen. What did you make in that last fight? Was that crew stoppage called for? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.